Hi Virgo, this is your mid-June reading. It's going to be a general read, true black as usual, and then I'll clarify with the uh, black violet if I need to. Didn't need to with uh, Leo. I only did one card in my last one, which was, who was that for? Taurus. Taurus only needed one clarifying card. Oh, I love that. Right, we can stop there whenever you're ready. Da -da 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 -da. Stop the read, okay. Who am I reading for at the moment? Virgo. Damn. Virgo, this is amazing. I am going to so much off the deck last time. Okay. Queen of Cups as well. What I'll do is I'll do a very fast read um, off the top of my head and, and see where they got, that gets me. Virgo, this just looks amazing. It's it's really good. Um, one of the better reads we've had. Anything that's got the magician in it and the hanged man is fine by me. Um, let's see. You are going to gain the knowledge. You're going to get a victory. You're going to get a celebration. Make sure that you do stuff for other people as well as yourself. You are being noticed and recognised. Be careful you're not too brash and lose the self-pity. So I would say running out of out towards the end of June, yeah, you, you, you see the situation for what it really is, resulting in freedom, celebration and victory. Fantastic. Okay, right, we'll go and do that a bit more detailed. Now the ones that just wanted that heads up version. So you see your energy across the, the sort of bottom of the deck is finding the balance for towards the end of June. You've got the Queen of Cups and she has the koi um, swimming at the bottom of her feet there. She's manifesting these angel fish out of the subconscious and making a crown out of them. She is really at one with her own emotions. She knows when she's frustra frustrated, excited, surprised, wondrous, annoyed, you know, all of those, all of those things. She, she knows how she feels, but more importantly, she knows how to deal with that feeling. So if she's anxious, she knows she's anxious rather than, I don't know why I don't want to go to that party. She knows she's anxious, she knows why, and she fixes it, yeah. Or she lives with it and she does or doesn't go to the party. So that's a great energy to have that real kind of awareness of how you're actually feeling deep inside yourself and still being able to, uh, not in control of it, but just, yeah, it's just the awareness of it and the knowledge and the understanding of it. It's really powerful energy in the middle and that's that's sort of pulsing out to all of the cards is the hanged man this is about you know willingly giving yourself he's willingly giving himself to the earth he's going back into the ground he's turning into liquid gold where he lies it's it's, it's very fertile and all the crops are coming out to be harvested is dissolving into the air into butterflies he's kind of melting away into these into this transformative ideas beautiful card and it's about seeing something in a different way t taking a different viewpoint he's hanging upside down from the tree of knowledge in a more traditional deck um it's also about make, maybe making a sacrifice you know lose the battle to win the war but it's a really powerful card because it puts you in it, it, it's a bit like working at coca-cola but being able to see what pepsi are trying to do it, it that's that's got to be wonderfully powerful you know to be able to in a relationship see how you're partner feels and thinks about something so that you're able to do something about it for the better really really powerful energy and then the magician down at the bottom magician is you've got all the tools at your disposal so whatever you want to do this month you can do it want to change jobs fine want to go to hong kong fine want to i don't know ask somebody out ask them out it's, it's all there the lemon skirt above his head the infinity symbol just means you can do it over and over and over again maybe not the asking out thing but you know you don't want to turn it into a stalker but just have it, and it's all the tools at your disposal. You know, the magician is the master manipulator, and that's that's not the the bad word for manipulation. It's it's manipulating for a better result. Yeah, so just great energy. So in the first column we have the um, seven of pentacles, then we've got the knight of wands and the five of pentacles so the seven of pentacles is you know balancing out these six coins against this list and there's another one in the ground and that one in the ground is is about abundance and harvest and and being able to grow more so if this was about love 
this is you going this is how much i love my partner and this is the list my partner's given me of how much they want me to love them and it's all balanced out beautifully but there's more love to give it never ends if it's in a business relationship it's the same kind of deal i was asked to do this 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 i did do all of this and not only that we're in great shape to grow develop earn more money blah blah, blah. so it's a really good card it does talk about maybe take a little breath it was like if you're a farmer you've just done the harvest you've got all the crops in the barn is full to bursting it all looks great it's off to market tomorrow grab yourself a quick drink and then get out and start plowing the field and sowing it again you know tarot is about cycles it's like well done you triumphant victory move on to the next one the knight of wands doesn't have a sword she just has a shield she just bashes away into a situation which means she's incredibly courageous incredibly brave you know she has no weapon it's it's a defensive one the shield can sometimes mean that she is a little bit defensive and, and you can have your feelings hurt and it could also be a bit of a bull in a china shop if you're not careful so just watch that energy it's it's as good energy it's fantastic as negative energy it's not so good so you've got to make sure you use that energy in the right way and if not i think you'll end up with this card which is the card of lack and self-pity and oh woe is me you need to see the bigger picture and we're all allowed to get out of bed and feel sorry for ourselves or go to bed and feel sorry for ourselves but these six cards here and this card here are just blowing that out of the water that's just nonsense ignore that you've got the six of wands you've got the hanging man and the magician we've talked about those two already but the six of wands is um triumphant victory you know the lion has eaten the hunter which we would normally go are we are we on the side of the lion i thought we we're on the side of the humans but the hunter might have been killing cups and doing something really naughty and not very nice the knife in the ground indicates the end of hostilities the banners in the background are everyone cheering your victory so it's a victory that you've done that everyone's really pleased about everyone wants to reward you for but like this card here is talking about well done now move on to the next bit so by all means celebrate the victory celebrate your birthday the following day go back to work and start all over again see the bigger picture see how other people see you see how you can help other people really powerful energy there and of course you've got all the tools at your disposal in final column we've got the hermit the four of wands and the hierophant the hermit is you know time to take yourself away a little bit of meditating uh, navel gazing just getting a little bit of knowledge um, me personally i like to go on um, other people's tarot sites on youtube and see what others are doing love the work that you know mino pondos he's probably my favorite love ashley over at libra land 1010 because i'm libra um, but there are empath tarot she's great as well there are lots of people out there i really love and i just learn from them you know their version of the hermit's not my version of the hermit um but it's great you know but i like to get that knowledge and go actually yeah i like the idea of that in fact uh, Ashley over at Libra Land 1010 she's got a beautiful phrase that so just calls it a card of lack you know so you're lacking energy you're lacking enthusiasm you're lacking joy for the future and it the tarot is about cycles you know you're having a bad day it's just a bad day we'll be around the other side tomorrow the sun will come up come up new day dawns and off we go um, and the hermit is about you know finding that knowledge that understanding and and just finding that sort of I wanted to say safe space, but it's not a safe space. Finding a space where he can, or they can, just just kind of internalise and think on things a little bit. And you'd be surprised when you do that. I mean, I, I find it hard to meditate. I find it hard to unwind. But when you do, it's it's really powerful. There's like, whoa, what happened then? I really sank. It feels like you're falling deeper and deeper into a into a duvet or into sand on a beach. And sometimes it can feel a bit scary and you want to claw your way out. But you really are supposed to flop into it and just be yourself really inside yourself you know and, and then i don't know what happens next because like i said i've not mastered that yet but maybe you know if you can find some time to either meditate or just get a quiet 20 minutes and think where you want to be where do you want to be at the end of this year um you know where do you want to be at the end of five years time pisces you know where, where it's not pisces virgo um yeah sorry virgo i'm always doing this um so yeah where, where do you find yourself in in at the end of the year virgo what's what's it look like and what's what's your dream life what house are you living in who are you living with are, are you in a camper van going around australia or are you you know living in a hotel because you're minted that's what you want to do i don't know it's, it's it's down to the individual but the hermit lets you do that lets you think about stuff like that maybe money's not important to you maybe your family is maybe your family's not important to you and money is <laughs> You know, it's the money and family, the same two words, but swapped over 
feels completely different. Anyway, regardless of all of that, at the end of the month, you know, by doing that, getting that knowledge, that understanding and a kind of self-knowledge, you end up with um, victory, celebration, freedom to go with this triumphant victory and to go with this victory and reward. And then finally, the Hierophant quite rightly talks about, you know, if it's not good for the hive, it's not good for the bees. It could be another person coming in, someone who, who can teach you something or a mentor or something like that. Um, but I also think it's a card of, you know, do something for the greater good. So, you know, what can you do? Maybe, I don't know, give a little bit to charity. Um, one of the things I, I did many years ago, I've done it for a while, shame, shamefully, is um, I used to buy a box of biscuits and just take it into the local charity shop and just hand it over and say, have have a biscuit with a brew, ladies, and uh, or sell the biscuits to someone else, you know, they were sealed up. They might not like biscuits, they might be gluten intolerant, I don't know. But yeah, it just made me, it wasn't doing it to make me feel good, but I was doing it because I thought, well, they're, they're in there all day working the bits off and I'm just wandering around town. Five of Cups, um, be careful of looking at, at a situation and kind of going, woe is me. You know, you're looking at what you've lost, which is sat with this card down here, rather than what's still there, yeah. You need to see the bigger picture, which is exactly what the Hangman allows you to do. Yeah, Eight of Swords as well. It's another kind of Hanged Man energy. She's sort of, she's tied up. She's worrying the tide's coming in. It's like, oh, woe is me. You know, I'm I'm, I'm tied up. I'm, I'm nowhere to go. I can't escape this. But yeah, you can. You just rub that those bindings up against one of the swords. Take your blindfold off and walk away. They're not, they're not caging you in. There's just a wall of swords behind you, you know. It, it's sort of worrying for no good reason. Um, so, yeah, see the bigger picture, realise what is actually, what is actually going on. Yeah, and the Two of Swords, very similar to the Eight. This idea of, um, you know, in this one here, she's holding those two swords up in a really strange way. And it, it's a bit like, well, just put the swords down, take the blindfold off, turn around and see. The, this ocean can sometimes be, you know, your turbulent emotions or your turbulent past. And there's sometimes an island right on the horizon and it's about maybe you should head to the island you know maybe you need to just put those swords down and and take the blinkers off that's what it is you need to take the blinkers off so it's really weird because this was a really solid reading and these three cards are almost a bit like someone's whispered in my ear and gone you know a, a virgo has just whispered in my ear going yeah but you know it's not that great is it oh i, I feel trapped and i feel tra it's like these are of your own making, all those three there. They're not external influences. That's the whisper on your shoulder. Someone going, you're not good enough, imposter syndrome. Woe is you, you know. It, it's a bit like someone's got a million pounds and thinks they're the richest person in the world and someone else has got a million pounds and goes, this is awful, I wish I had more money. It, it, it's, it, the million pounds hasn't changed, it's just your attitude towards it. And I think that's what this is. You know, I'm telling you that this is going to be great. You're going to see the bigger picture. I mean, Hanged Man and Magician is just off the charts amazing, Virgo. Just go and look up those two cards. They're amazing, amazing, amazing. You don't need anything else. And yet still you want to bring this baggage with you. You know, oh, what if? What if she'd gone out with me? What if I'd got that job? You know, I didn't get that job. I didn't get that person. I didn't get that state of mind. But look what you have got. Yes, but I'm trapped. No, you're not. I really am trapped. No, you're not. You're really not. No one's trapped. You're not. So move on, Virgo, and you'll have a fantastic end to the month. And I will see you on Wednesday for your general reading. Take care.